Hi, I'm Mr. Lyric at the new Mini Howard campus, and you're watching TMA. Oh, so this is a temporary studio. Jeff Bezos must be broke. Okay, so I might have underestimated how much money we really could have put into the studio. But hey, I splurged out on a green screen. Mm, it's green, it's on the wall, but what does it do? Well, we could put some cool stuff on it, like a dog, or a fish, or a different kind of dog. Well, then why don't we do it? Well, that isn't my job, that's TD's job. Well, that's after the show. Ho after the show. I go home immediately once the show ends. Well, then just stay a bit. No. Titans, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Hey Titans, it's September 12th, and I'm Ben Harrington. And I'm Henry Lopez. So Ben, have you tried the swimming pool yet? There's a pool here? Yeah, but it isn't open to everybody. Wait, this feels oddly familiar. I bet that's just what they want you to think. I remember saying those exact words. Why are, we, why are you reciting what we said last show? I don't know what you mean. I think it's better if I just take control now and we just do the announcements. Do you want to play a part in the race towards a cure for blood cancer? If so, come join Curious for Cares, our local team partic participating in DC's Leukemia and Lymphonia Society Student Visionaries of the Year campaign. As a member, you would help raise money through individual and team fundraising activities. If you're interested in joining our team, please come to the interest meeting on Wednesday, September 18th at 3.45 p.m. in room MH4202 at Minnie Howard. Science National Honor Society will be holding an interest meeting today at Minnie Howard, room 3202 from 3.45 to 4.30. Just make sure you're a 10th, 11th, or 12th grader with a GPA of 3.0. Attention freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. The ACT Youth Council Interest Meeting is upon us. This is a paid leadership program designed by youth for youth. It provides students the decision-making power to address key issues in the community. The interest meeting is on September 15th, 2024, from 1 to 2 p.m. at Alex Community Waterfront. The address is 201 North Union Street, Alexandria, VA 22312. Register for the interest meeting with the link in the description. Also, second round of bingo lingos for the year are up. It was so good they had to do it twice. Today we have Leighton Sutter and Daisy Soisavarn with their word, eight. Hey Titans, I'm Leighton Sutter with Daisy Soisavarn behind the camera, and today we're going around Old Town and our school and seeing if people know some popular slang. Our word today is eight. <laughs> As defined in the Urban Dictionary, eight as a slang word means that someone did something very well. On the other hand, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary simply defines it as the past tense of eat. The slang version originated in the 2000s and it became popularized in many different communities, and it's still used now. We're about to test people in Old Town's knowledge to see if they know their slang. Let's go! How would you define the word eight? Um, I would say it's like when someone does something really like a sleigh or a serve. Four plus four equals eight. You did something really good. I would say eight would be the past tense of eat. And can you use it in a sentence? Saying like somebody ate that up. I was on my bike and I fell off and I ate the ground. I ate a cheeseburger from McDonald's. That outfit ate. It seems like the old towners have a pretty good sense of what it means. They ate that up. Now let's go to ACHS and talk to our Titans. Do we think the high schoolers can do even better? We're about to find out. What is your definition of the word eight? Um, I think the word eight means to do good at something. Eight means you just, 
you got it, you know, you just left no crumbs. When you did something really well, like, like you killed it. How would you use it in a sentence? Like, if your friend made a post and she looked really good or it was a cool picture, you could be like, oh girl, you ate. Oh, she ate at her performance. I ain't gonna hold you, your outfit looks sweet, you just ate it. The orchestra ate at that concert last night. Yeah. I'm glad ACHS is keeping up with the slang more than Old Town. They definitely dis didn't disappoint. Well, Titans, this was another great bingo lingo. You could even say we ate. Back to you guys in the studio. I guess you could say they really ate that package up. Don't worry, that isn't the only bingo lingo we have left. There's always more to come. Hey, Henry, I've been meaning to ask. Why did I miss the first day of school? How do you know exactly what I was going to say? Because I said that exact same thing last show, and you said your own name. But you didn't answer my question. Why are you repeating what I said? Yeah, I'm sorry. I went to the doctor's and I was diagnosed with CSS. What's that? Compulsive script stealing. I just rehash scripts because my body tells me to. Is it because I called you a nerd? Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm sorry. You're not a nerd. Thanks. I think it's gone now. Guess that's the end of therapy with Harrington. And good luck on your second day of map testing. Bye, Titans.